Do you have a private mortgage or are you thinking about maybe getting one? What if there were some specific things that you needed to be aware of in order to ultimately refinance and get that private mortgage paid off? Well, there are some special things that you could and should be doing to get positioned. And in today's video lesson, that's exactly what I'm going to share with you. Check it out. Why would someone even take a private mortgage though in the first place? Yeah, so the reason private mortgages have been gaining popularity is because you can't get a normal mortgage in some cases. You have credit issues, you have income issues like you were talking about, and you need a go-between to get that property. That's where the private financing comes in. A conventional or government mortgage is given by a bank. A private mortgage is given to you by anybody else but the bank. And there are pros and cons of private mortgages, and there's risks obviously involved with private lending, but the main reason why I see people using private financing, 75% of the time it's a credit event that occurred. So maybe you had a foreclosure a year ago and you can't get any sort of mortgage because you haven't met that seasoning. A private mortgage though, there are no guidelines. It's somebody lending you money. They can make their own rules. They can pick what interest they want to charge. If they don't want to verify your income, they don't have to. There's no regulation. So then can you explain why there are challenges Challenges then when it comes to refinancing, let's say, a private mortgage into a conventional or government bank right. mortgage. So what I see a lot is people coming to me saying, I want to refinance. I have this private mortgage I took out six months, a year, five years ago, and I now want to get a conventional or a regular type of mortgage. And one of the big issues with it is that there's no credit reporting done. So that creates a little bit of a challenge because underwriters want to see a history of making mortgage payments when you're refinancing. The second thing that can be a challenge is that because you're getting a mortgage from a private individual or a private uh, entity, there can be some questionable documentation that comes up. Everything I'm telling you that's a challenge, I've overcome with my clients and I have the solutions to help people overcome. And the last one that I'll say as far as challenges when it comes to refinancing private mortgages would be payment arrangements. Why is the conventional or as you call government financing more attractive then than, than private financing when it comes to you know, the, the loan terms, is it because of, it'll increase your credit score, whereas opposed to the private one, is it's not documented or? The number one reason why is going to be the lower interest rate. Now, I have seen private mortgages that can be low, yeah. but the majority that I've seen are 8, 10, eight to 10 percent or higher. Number two is a fixed rate. A lot of these uh, private mortgages have balloon payments or they're not fixed. They're adjustable rates. So, most of the time on the government or conventional mortgages, at least up until very recently, we were always just offering the fixed rate. There was really not a benefit to taking an adjustable or arm type of scenario. And then the backing of the federal agencies. The backing of the federal agencies is really big because what it allows is it allows these mortgages to be sold in the secondary market, it's, it's an investment. So pension funds and sovereign funds and people, they invest in your mortgage. If someone is currently in a private mortgage, let me ask you this. What are some things that they can do right now to prepare to, to refinance out of that loan? Really, right after you hear this show today, you need to get on the horn and get an inquiry going with a mortgage advisor. Myself, I'm happy to help, or anybody else, just make sure it's someone that knows how to navigate these private mortgage issues because we need to do an evaluation, we need to do an analysis of your credit, your income, and the whole scenario because like I was alluding to earlier, there sometimes is some groundwork that needs to be laid. It, it may not just be a straightforward, make a phone call and get it done right away. And if you need a few months or even a year of rehabilitation, so to speak, on your credit or how you document your income, you want to start that now. The best time would have been yesterday. The next best time is right now. So let's get that going. Let's get that analysis in play. Let's get your personal game plan, which is going to be different from anybody else. Let's get your scenario put down on paper. Let's get a timeline and a game plan in play for that so that we can get it approved. Sometimes we can do it right away, which would be ideal, but sometimes, especially in these private mortgage scenarios, there's going to be a reason why. What's the issue? Again, credit, income, et cetera. And we can figure out what needs to be done. You also want to, if you haven't already been making consistent payments on your private mortgage, start that today. Make this month the month that you start making payments every single month on your private mortgage, because that's one of the pieces of the puzzle that's 
if not the most important, it's up in the top couple important items. Underwriters are going to want to see when you're refinancing a private mortgage that's not on your credit into one of these other types of loans that's made through a bank credit union or uh, that sort of financial institution. I hope now you realize that with the right preparation, refinancing or getting out of that private mortgage situation, it's not as difficult as many people think. So I really hope you found value in the lesson today. I am here to help, so if I can be of assistance, I offer free consultations. Reach out to me by call, text, or private message, 860-413-3938. If you found value, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified on all of our future content. We're constantly keeping this site and channel updated with the most cutting edge financial and mortgage strategies. And if I can be of assistance to you or anyone that you know, go ahead and share this, like, comment. Let me know what you learned from this video. I wanna hear about your knowledge and education as a result of watching this. Again, I hope that helps and we will definitely be talking to you soon. Take care.